A circus clown is thrown into the air by a cannon with an initial velocity of 10 feet per second. So it's thrown into the air for 10 feet per second at a height of 6 feet. Now remember, whenever you are anything that goes up, must come down. So here's the cannon. And he's been thrown into the air. And we want to find out where does it land. It starts at 6 feet. Now, what's great about this is that they already set up the equation for you. If you notice, the equation is already set up for you. They already plugged in the 10 for the velocity and the 6 for the initial height. So the only thing that we need to do is solve it. We want to find out where it reaches the ground. So your h will be 0. 0 is equal to negative 16. Instead of the 10, I use an x squared, an x, plus 10x plus 6. And now I just want to factor it. One number divides 16, 10, and 6, uh, 2. Now remember, if the first number is negative, you want to take out a negative 2. Do they all have an x? No. So what's left behind? Negative 2 times 8x squared gives you a ne negative 16x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by 1 gives me a positive 10x. Negative 5x, because negative and negative becomes a positive. Negative 2 multiplied by 1 gives you a 6, so it'll be negative 3. And now I'm going to factor it out. I'm going to factor what's left. I'm going to factor it out. So factors of 8x squared can be 4x and 2x or 8x and x. And let me use my pencil to make sure. So in this case, let me use 4x and x. Remember, I need to end up with a negative 5. And I'm going to use 3 and 1. I'm up, if I place my 3 in here, and my 1 here, that's 12 and 1 will not give me a, so that doesn't work. Will not give me a negative 5. So if I place my 1 here, and my, my 3 here, and my 1 here, that's 4 and 3 will not give me a 5, whether they add them or subtract them. So therefore, I need to use 8x and 1x. So I'm going to use 8x and x is 8x squared and I'm going to use 3 and 1 because that gives me a 8 minus 3 gives me a 5 now I need to end up with a negative 5 so therefore I'm going to make this a negative and that's a positive that gives me a negative 8x and positive 3x gives me a negative 5x and that's what I needed correct now I use my zero product property I'm going to make it Make my zero product property. I'm going to have 8x plus 3 equal to 0. x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, when I move my 3 to the right, it becomes say negative. And my answer cannot be negative, so I'll need to continue. When I move my 1 to the right, it becomes say positive, so x is equal to 1. So how long does it take? One second. And go, and it goes back into the ground. 